Welcome to the Auto Moto Freak Channel. Greetings to all viewers, subscribers, and supporters. In this episode, I'll talk about the DSG 7DQ 200 automatic transmission. So, to the point, the DQ 200 transmission, also known by the codes 08M or 0CW, is a 7 speed, dual clutch automatic transmission of the dry type. It debuted in 2008 and was intended to reduce fuel consumption and emissions in smaller and medium-sized Volkswagen Group cars. Unlike wet DSG transmissions, such as the DQ250 or DQ381, the clutches in the DQ200 are not immersed in oil. General characteristics of the DQ200 Type 7-speed dual-clutch dry Maximum torque Designed for engines with a maximum torque of up to approximately 250 newton meters. This limitation means that it is installed in weaker drive units. Application in cars with transversely mounted engines, mainly with front wheel drive. Separate oil circuits. It has two independent oil circuits one for the mechanical part of the gearbox, about 1.7 liters of transmission oil, and the other, much smaller for the mechatronics, about 0.9 to 1.1 liters of special hydraulic oil. In which cars is DQ200 installed? DQ200 is widely used in many models of the VG group, in versions with smaller and weaker engines. Volkswagen, Polo, since 2008, depending on the engine. Golf, MK5, MK6, MK7. In versions with smaller engines, EG 1.0 TSI, 1.2 TSI, 1.4 TSI, 1.6 TDI, Passat B7, B8. In versions with smaller engines, EG 1.4 TSI, 1.6 TDI, Jetta, Turan, Caddy, Beetle, Sirocco. Versions 1.4 TSI, T Rock. Versions 1.0 TSI, 1.5 TSI, Audi. As S-Tronic, a 1, a 3, 8P, 8V. In versions with smaller engines, e.g. 1.2 TFSI, 1.4 TFSI, 1.6 TDI, Q2 slash Q3. In versions with smaller engines, TT, 1.8 TFSI versions, Skoda, Fabia, Octavia, 2, 3, 4. In versions with smaller engines, e.g. 1.0 TSI, 1.2 TSI, 1.4 TSI, 1.6 TDI. Superb. Inversions with smaller engines. Rapid. Yeti. Versions with smaller engines. Kamek slash Scala. Seat slash Cupra. Ibiza. Leon. 2, 3, 4. Inversions with smaller engines. Arona. Ateca. Inversions with smaller engines. Advantages of the DQ 200. Low fuel consumption. Thanks to the dry clutch design and seven gears, the DQ200 is very fuel efficient, as there are no power losses associated with immersed in oil clutches and a high pressure oil pump. Compact design, it is lighter and smaller than wet DSG gearboxes. Gear change speed, despite its specificity, it still offers very fast and smooth gear changes, which is a characteristic feature of DSG gearboxes. No need to change clutch oil. Since the clutches are dry, they do not require oil changes, which theoretically reduces service costs, although this only applies to the oil part of the transmission, not the mechatronics. DQ 200 Disadvantages Mechatronics Reliability Problems This is the main and most well-known disadvantage of the DQ 200. The mechatronics are prone to failure, often due to crack pressure accumulator housings or problems with the electronics and valves. Symptoms include jerking, no gears, emergency mode, jerking, and vibration. Dry clutches are more prone to jerking, especially when starting off, in traffic jams, and at low speeds. This is due to the more difficult heat dissipation and the lack of smooth operation of the clutches in oil. Clutch life. Dry clutches can wear out faster, especially with aggressive driving, frequent hill starts, or in intensity traffic. Replacing clutches is expensive. Limited torque. Due to its design, the DQ200 is only designed for engines with lower torque, which limits its use in more powerful versions of cars. DQ200 Faults and Failures 
The DQ200 unfortunately gained a bad reputation due to its relatively high failure rate, especially in the early years of production. The main problems are Mechatronics failure. This is the most common problem. Early versions of the Mechatronics before 2013 to 2014 had a tendency to crack the pressure accumulator housing or the hydraulic pump itself, which led to a loss of oil pressure and, as a consequence, to a malfunction or complete immobilization of the gearbox. Newer versions of Mechatronics have been improved, but electronics, e.g. relays, sensors, or valve failures still occur. Symptoms Jerks when starting or changing gears, inability to engage some gears, e.g. only even slash odd, flashing gear indicator, PRNDS, switching to emergency mode, limp mode, no reverse gear. Error codes, errors related to hydraulic pressure, e.g. P17BF, speed sensor errors, P171F, P172A, or solenoid valve errors often appear. Clutch wear, although they are dry, they wear out. Symptoms include jerks when starting, especially after warming up, clutch slippage, engine revs up, but the car does not accelerate, vibrations. They often require replacement after 100,000 to 150,000 kilometers, especially in cars used in the city. Dual mass flywheel, DMF, where, as with other DSG gearboxes, the DMF is a consumable item that can cause knocking, vibrations, and unpleasant sounds. Software problems, sometimes the cause of incorrect gearbox operation, jerking, delays, may be software errors that can be fixed with an update. Oil leaks from the mechatronics housing or seals. Service and oil change. The DQ200 service is specific due to two separate oil circuits. Gearbox oil, mechanical part. Oil type. Most often, this is oil with the VWG052 512A2 specification, SAE 75W, API GL4. Change interval. The manufacturer does not provide for oil changes in this part of the gearbox, filled for life. The oil is only changed in the event of failure, e.g. leak or repair. Despite this, some mechanics and owners decide to prophylactically change the transmission oil every 120,000 to 150,000 kilometers, believing that this can extend the life of the bearings and synchronizers. Quantity, about 1.7 liters. Procedure. Replacement is less complicated than in wet gearboxes, requires draining the old oil and pouring in a new, strictly defined amount. Hydraulic oil, mechatronics. Oil type. This is a special hydraulic oil with the VWG004000 M2 specification. It is often called mechatronics oil or servo oil because the same oil is often used in power steering systems. Change interval. The manufacturer does not provide for regular replacement of this oil. It is also filled for life. However, in the event of problems with the mechatronics, especially housing cracks, this oil is topped up or replaced during repair. Many specialists recommend a preventive replacement or at least a level check of this oil every 60,000 to 100,000 kilometers, which can help detect early leaks. Quantity, around 0.9 to 1.1 liters. Procedure, replacing or topping up the mechatronics oil is more complicated and often requires specialist diagnostic equipment and knowledge to properly bleed the system. Service and repair costs. Due to potential problems with the mechatronics, the cost of repairs to the DQ200 can be high. Replacing the mechatronics alone costs from 800 euros or pounds or dollars to even 1,500 euros or pounds or dollars, depending on the service and whether it is a new or reconditioned unit. Replacing the clutches is also a significant expense from 1,000 euros or pounds or dollars. Summary The DQ200 is a gearbox that arouses extreme emotions. On the one hand, it offers very good performance in terms of fuel consumption and smooth gear changes in its class. On the other hand, its early versions were very problematic due to mechatronics failures. The manufacturer introduced improvements in later years of production mainly after 2013, which significantly improved its reliability, although it is still not free from defects. 
When buying a car with DQ200, especially an older model, you should be aware of the risk of failure of mechatronics and clutches. It is important to pay attention to the culture of the gearbox, jerking, knocking, and check the service history. Regular computer diagnostics can help detect potential problems early. Despite the lack of official recommendations, many experts suggest preventive replacement of both types of oil, which can extend the life of this gearbox. Thank you for watching the film, and I invite you to subscribe to the Automoto Freak channel. Greetings to everyone, and see you in the next episode. See you soon.